then we have our window and we could already attach materials to this so for example let's go to b or bucket and then we could select glass or other materials so let's select glass from this drop down arrow then let's try to select this translucent glass dark green then attach that to this window pane You may want also to attach material for your window pane frame. This, for example, we have a color, or let's say you have a wood uh, finish. Let's try the wood veneer. Then attach that to the window pane frame. However, it's the same with the window pane. You have to click them several times, so I don't like that. So let's uh, undo. So we'll go inside the window pane frame component and try to attach the material. However, it only attached to the front face or front side of the component. So you could either select all this component and then material again and then attach the material. So it attached the material to all the faces of the component and automatically attach to all the window pane frames now for the window frame itself i leave it to the default as is just to demonstrate the behavior of attaching materials to components with nested components so whenever you attach a material to a group or component with nested components just like our example here as for example, we'll attach this particular material and then without going inside the group a bounding box, we attach to this group and it will attach only the material to the phases with default material. Okay, so to go back to the default material, you just click on this, on the materials panel. I'll click this one, then return it to the default. And... You cannot do the same for this because there's already an attached material for it. No matter how much you click, it doesn't change. So in order to return it to the default material, you either select all and then attach the material. But you must be inside. Then there it's automatic. So I want the window frame to be colored white. So I leave it as is. So we go ahead and place the model there but let's make this into a component so let's name it as window one and create so the nested components were changed or replaced under window one so i need to make it as a component so that any changes for this would uh, also be applied to any instance of this i'll select and then m and then click on this midpoint of the component and then move to the midpoint on this wall so I could simply copy it again so still being selected I'll control and then from this endpoint this endpoint control again from this endpoint this endpoint control again from this endpoint and of course lastly to this endpoint now take note that this is a component also and this is a component okay so so once i double click this one i am inside the wall once i double click this one i am inside the window pane i could nest them together if i may wish but I just leave that as is so let's create another layer for our windows so tags create a new layer and then let's name it as windows so i'll select this component entity info tag of course it must be under windows however everything must be selected so 
I'll do the same for the rest. So, Control select and then Windows. So, I could control the visibility of the Windows walls. 